Hello everyone, this is Vrishali and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In previous session, we discussed about different application layer protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, SMTP, then DNS, DSCP with examples. I have mentioned a complete computer network subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss the next application layer protocol that is Telnet. Let's start the session. In this session, you will learn about Telnet, the working with examples, Telnet versus SSH, and at the end, we will discuss a question bank. Now, the first point is what exactly Telnet? See, Telnet is application layer client server protocol. By using Telnet, you can remotely access and control another computer present in internet or local area network. For example, suppose you want to access files and folders of another computer. So by using your own computer, you can access it by using Telnet protocol. That's why they establish a connection with remote system. So this is a main use of Telnet protocol. And this Telnet protocol use TCP protocol for communication purpose. And it is a platform independent protocol. Means you can access different operating system on different computers by using your own computer. So this is a concept of Telnet. Now let's discuss the working of Telnet protocol. Now see the first step is connection establishment. There is your own computer. On that computer, you need to install Telnet client. Now, you can open Telnet client software, type a command to connect to the remote computer. And the command is Telnet and remote computer IP address. So here is a command Telnet and uh, the computer you want to connect, you want to access files and folder their IP address. That is 192.168.1.1. So by using that command, Telnet client connect to the particular computer by using port number 23. This is the first step. Now the second step is authentication. If the remote computer means the computer you want to access files and folder that have accepted your connection. So you have to enter username and password as a login for authentication and security purpose. So for example, your username is admin and your password is whatever that given right so after authentication or after successful login in your command line interface you see the command router right so first step is establish the connection by using ip address and second step is authentication now the third step is command execution so after authentication you can easily handle or control remote computer just you are sitting in front of it. So you can run different commands, open different files and folder, accessing different files, perform read write operations on file. Normally you can access your own computer, right? So you can perform all this access remotely. So there are slightly delay in response time. So this is a command execution means just like your own computer, you can access another computer present in network present in local area network and the last step is session termination after using the session end so for that purpose command line interface router use exit command means user log out and close the telnet client so it will disconnect your remote computer access and you can return in your own computer so this is a work of telnet protocol now just see the difference between Telnet and SSH protocol. See, both protocol provide remote access uh, permissions, right? Means you can access another computer present in network. But SSH protocol provide more security, more encrypted data as compared to Telnet protocol. Here, when you use password, so password is a plain text protocol purpose is used. But in SSH, this password is converted into the encrypted format. Private key, public key, cryptography, this concept or advanced concept is used in SSH protocol. That's why 
telnet protocol there is a no encrypted data for credential for password purpose but ssh protocol they have their encryption technique and secure communication technique they protect data and different files from the attackers telnet protocol use 23 port number and ssh protocol use port number 22 for communication purpose now what are the main use cases telnet protocol is suitable where encryption or security is not more concern right but ssh protocol is preferred in public network where security is needed security is a crucial point now uh, as per the performance telnet is a very lightweight protocol this is a fast due to lack of encryption but ssh protocol is a slightly slower but it is a highly secure that's why a uh, telnet protocol is rarely used today it can be used only for testing and troubleshooting purpose but ssh protocol nowadays widely used for remote accessing remote administration purpose because it is a highly secure so as per the command uh, in command line interface you can use this command like telnet and a remote computer ip address but while using ssh protocol you can use this command they provide more security see here in this diagram there is a ssh client and there is a ssh server ssh client send a particular message like hello so this message is encrypted by using private key then this message decrypted by ssh server means they maintain the secured communication right so this is the main difference between telnet and ssh now as per your previous year question paper they have asked about write a short note or explain working of telnet for 6 to 8 marks so this is the most easiest topic you can attempt it so thank you keep learning